<clears throat> so again, guys, like we did last time from, uh, <clears throat> from half guard. We started the position from here, right, where we have the knee shield, and we kind of did this kind of, this uh, little cage where I cuffed the bicep and I trapped the tricep over here, right? And what that does is it makes a situation where uh, Sean has a difficult time getting this lapel and a difficult time getting inside control on this side, right? So again, just like last time, my main objective is gonna to be to get on top, and the main tool that's gonna to help me do that is gonna be the underhook. This is great if your opponent's not moving, right? What we did last night to kind of get into the position. But in real life, I can't hang out here very long because Sean will just, if he can't get through my uh, knee shield here, he'll just start to move. He can pop up to his feet. He can do a bazillion different things there, right? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to start to off balance. Now, the other thing that's gonna happen here, for the people who last night were saying, oh yeah, you know, I was doing the technique, but I kept running into my opponent and I couldn't get to the sit-up position. This is also gonna help you guys uh, get your shoulder where it needs to be. So from this little cage position that I have here, all I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna slide both my hands down to the wrists. And all I wanna do is feign the sweep in that direction. And he's gonna to react to the opposite side. So last night we were here, kind of kicking from a very static position, so we get the the motion of the technique down. Well, today I'm gonna to create some space by being up here in my cage, going to the wrist. I wanna grab the sleeve on the top, and all I wanna do is start to dump my opponent in that direction. When Sean comes back this way, now I'm gonna let go of here, and now that's where I'm gonna roll up and get into my spot here, okay? Notice again, guys, the important detail is that my chest faces the mat. If my chest doesn't face the mat and it faces that wall, I'm gonna get returned right to where I started from, okay? So from here, we were last night, okay, now my opponent, I don't want him moving around too much, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the sleeves, I'm going to open him up one way, and when he corrects, I'm going to straighten my leg, and I'm going to get right up here. We're going to move quick, guys, so we get to more techniques, because everyone should have seen this last night. My right foot and my left foot are going to go inside at the same time. I don't like to step over and then try and wrestle my foot out, because I can get jammed up, especially with bigger people. So when my left foot comes inside, my right foot drops. Same time, right? And I have to scrape this out as far as I can. Once I scrape that out, now I'm gonna pop and bring my knee out here. And then like we did last night here, guys, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post and post. I need to, all, as soon as I put my, my hand and my foot in the mat, Sean's weight goes in the correct direction. And now all I'm gonna do is drop to the heel if I need to. In this spot, I don't even need to. I can cup the hip and I'm gonna run to 12 o'clock. And I'm gonna keep this hooked. And now I'm going to just drop my right hand, my right leg, so that hook right on top of me here. One more time, fast. That's the key. He gets his left foot up first. Now he wins. I got a problem. So I'm getting up first. We're on to 12 o'clock. Okay, guys. Let's do that as review, and then we'll build on this for time. Let's go.